I heard a familiar song, and it was obviously a new one. A remix. It was bad. Yeah, the Black Eyed Peas ruined uh, a song from my childhood. They sound awesome when they're singing the old song, and then I just can't stand the rest of the song. Uh, which is unusual, because I usually like the Black Eyed Peas uh, music. I do like the recent trend amongst, I don't know what genre to call it, because I know Eminem does it, and Eminem is definitely a rapper, and I know there's some rap in the Black Eyed Peas songs, but I don't think the Black Eyed Peas in and of themselves are a rap group. But anyway, I do like that they're pulling off some of the songs that were, you know, fr that I remember from my childhood, that I always heard on the radio, bringing them back, mixing them into songs, but I think... Oh, how do I want to... St I like Eminem's songs better <laughs> than the Black Eyed Peas. So I'm... Uh, but And he tends to, like, sample the original song. The one from the Black Eyed Peas, they actually sang it again. And while they're singing it, it sounds awesome. And then that one guy says... I don't know what he says. It sounds like Dirty Bird or something. And then he just ruins the rest of the song for me. Oh, well. Let's stop talking about that and start playing some Sonic Special Stage. <laughs> And this one, you know what would be kind of cool? If I actually uh, tried <laughs> to do the special stage before the video started. But, no, I'm going into it blind, just like normal. Oh, you might notice that it's going faster now. Uh, throughout the... Dang, let's just hit every speed up button here. Every once in a while you get one of these uh, striped... Ah, peppermint patty looking things. And, ooh, thank you for that helpful arrow. They speed up or sometimes slow down the uh, speed of the special stage is rotation. I'm not speaking very well right now. I'm kind of tired. This is, no, this is not where I want to go. I thought that was where I wanted to go, so I, I went in there. That was kind of on purpose that I went in there. Okay, whoa. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just roll me on out of that. And just nice and easy. Nobody has to get hurt. There we go. Now bust your way in there, Sonic. No, Sonic, yes, thank you. Excellent use of the reversal right there. If I do say so myself, I must say. Oh, man. There are, I believe, two more Chaos Emeralds to get. And when we get them, I will be so happy because... <laughs> After years of not playing this game, I suck at it. Oop, I didn't want to pause it. Marble Zone Act 3. I'm not a big fan of Marble Zone's uh, Robotnik fight. But I do, like I, I've mentioned, you know, probably a million times now, I do love the Marble Zone itself. The Robotnik fight, eh, take it or leave it. I love the giant swinging ball from the first one. Uh, it's a pretty... I don't want to say inventive, because it's not exactly inventive. That's not where the hidden stage is. I'm, I gotta swear, there's gotta be somewhere on the left wall where there is a... Secrets area. Whoa, fire. Alright, this time I'm gonna do it. This time, we're going for gold. Oh yeah, look at all those points. Ow. Just in case you weren't wondering. Hidden spikes. Now, if you come over here, you can't jump. This is me hitting the jump button. And this is me hitting the other jump button. And this is me hitting the third jump button. And that's Sonic getting all pissy with me. It took me a while as a kid to figure out that you had to do this to bust through here. Uh, it's non-intuitive to me to have to do that, because in Mario, Mario never had to do that stuff. So Sonic is trying to trick me, and I do not appreciate it. Yoink. What did we have? One of the Honor Society that I'm a member of, we have fundraisers. And uh, I believe I might have mentioned the, in the video where I talked about the Honor Society that our fundraisers are pretty much mandatory. Oh, I jumped off the wrong side. There we go. And uh, I don't... I have an ethical um, objection to mandatory fundraising. Um, in the way that... It wasn't mandatory in that you had to part... There! 
here's a secret. I knew there was a secret. I told you there was a secret. I just remembered it in the wrong wall. Now, I can go all the way over here, or I can head back and show you what's on the, uh, the middle. So what I'm going to do here is save state again and head back this way. Yoink. Whoa, fireballs. Surprise, fireballs. And there is a bunch of spikes that come out of the staircase. I love this. I use this as a D&D &D trap. The spikes don't come up from the floor. They come out and stab you in the shin, because that way it hurts even more. Ow! Hey, what? Ow! Uh, anyway, our fundraisers aren't mandatory in that you have to participate. They're mandatory in that you have a quota. Uh, for example, what we're doing right now is we're selling candy bars. And so they were going to say everybody has to sell, you know, two boxes of candy bars. And I kind of understand how they're... The way that they're going about this is, you have to pay uh, $40. There's 20 candy bars in a box, and you sell each candy bar for a dollar. So what they make you do is, you pay $40 out of your pocket, then they give you the candy bars, and you are then free to make your money back selling them on your own. So the club, once they sell you the box of candy bars, they're, they're done. And uh, it's up to you to sell the candy bars if you ever if you want to get your 40 bucks back and uh, obviously I object to that to a certain degree you know what I have a shield let's just uh... Ugh. oh no get up there again I thought I wasn't gonna make it so I pulled back bad elder bad I of course object to that kind of fundraiser even more the last one we had we were selling coupon books you know those value books that get like a whole bunch of local restaurants will give you buy one get one free dinner stuff we were selling those and in that one it's basically just everybody had to sell two but there you know you actually went out and sold two nobody took forty dollars out of your pocket to begin with but uh, I told them you know I'm not going to participate in any of our fundraisers that require mandatory sales quotas because I just don't think it's right I will however help and so uh, the girl who's in charge of the committee for the candy bar fundraiser, I told her, it's like, I'm not going to buy the candy bars, but if you want to set up a table in the cafeteria, I will sit there and sell them. Or if you need me to go talk to the med students and tell them about the candy bars, I will go do that. You know, whatever you need me to do. Just, I'm not going to... And it's not even that they're going to have me put $40 down up front. Even if they didn't do that, I would object to the... Uh, I'm going to hit a save state right here. And then redo the load. Okay, yes, there is a secret there. That's the one that leads over here. This is the one where I normally find it is down through here. Because it didn't make sense to have this uh, spiked stomper right there without there being something in the wall. Oh, I thought I was going mad, but I'm right now. What else do I want to talk about? I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Oh, I did also want to mention one more thing, and that was uh, my pharmacotherapeutics class. Whoa. That's the big bad voodoo daddy of all pharmacy classes. Um, the second big bad voodoo daddy is pharmacology and medicinal chemistry, but... Whoa! Fire! Uh, for... If I did my math correctly, and I'll have to double-check it, I need 40% on my final exam to get an A for the course. That is insane. I have, like... I think I have a 98% average in the course right now. Fire! Go ahead. You can hit him twice, then you jump across. Then you hit him twice, then you jump across. He's a very easy boss. He's just... I don't like him as much as the uh, other bosses. The final boss in this game is really awesome, but we'll get to him when we get to him. I'll get you... <laughs> I'll get you next time, you wascally Wobotnik. <sighs> Once again, I have rambled on, but I enjoy rambling on. It's more fun that way. And what's up next? Is this Casino Zone? I want to see what's up next. Springyard Zone. I do not like this place. This is, uh, it's called Springyard Zone, but I call it Casino Zone. I get lost in this level. If you ever, uh, wanted... I'm not gonna play it, by the way, I'm just starting it off. 
Boom! Boom! I'm just... I should just leave it right like this. Um... Yeah, I have gotten lost in this level and ran out of time. Because I couldn't find the exit. I will try my best not to get lost again. Because, uh... That would not be fun. So, until next time. Oop, let me get in position here. Pause. Bye-bye.